relaxed. She's a, she's a very beautiful individual. Like her mentality, her personality, the way th she thinks is just beautiful. Um, character, her class, her culture, everything is like Ghazal. She's, she's almost like Ghazal, but she's obviously slightly different. Um, but they're, they're almost the same person. But um, what I wanted to mention was, the, the point was, I think I think about Ghazal when I'm sitting on the couch. I just stare at the wall. I think about Ghazal. I want to I wanna hang out with her more. I want to be around her. Um, I want to enjoy her company. I um, I hang out with girls once in a while, but I know I know in my heart that um, there's nobody like Ghazal. I hang I hang around a lot of girls after Ghazal, before Ghazal, and I know um, I know Ghazal is the most sincere. She's the most. Uh, she's the most. Um, she has the most character, the most class, the most culture. Uh, the, and the most important thing is joyful. She's, she's the most joyful. That's why I love her. Every the whole package. She has everything you need. If you if, like, I have a checklist. I have a checklist uh, with a clipboard and a pen and a paper, and I I checked off everything. Everything, everything so far. Chazil has. I don't really want like in a girl. I don't really want anything else. She's above and beyond. She's above and beyond the kind of girl that I like. So that's even better. This girl is once in a lifetime kind of girl. That's why I really like her. I really want her. I really want to... Wanna, uh, I appreciate her. I value her. I um, embrace her. But to be honest, sometimes... It's okay. Sometimes maybe she's busy. But sometimes... The first two times she you know, embraced me. Uh, appreciated me. Uh, cherished me. But... Later on, I would see her for two, three minutes at a time, and then we don't really get to talk to each other that often. I see her probably once or twice a year, and it hurts me inside. It hurts my heart. It hurts my heart because um, I really love this girl. I want to prove to her because uh, love is not enough. I know that. I know. I know that love is not enough. I have to prove to Ghazal that uh, I'm the real deal. I have to prove to Ghazal that uh, I'm here for her. I have to prove to Ghazal that no matter what happens, through all the pain, through all the suffering, I have to prove to Ghazal that I'm going to stand by your side. I'm never going to give up on you. I love you, and I'm here for you. Through thick and through thin, Ghazal. Through soft and hard, I'm going to be there for you. I know it's true. I know it's true because I am committed. I'm dedicated to Ghazal. Because when I seen her, even the first day I saw her, I knew, the first day I saw her, I knew... I was hooked on her. I knew that this girl, this girl is the one. And I know that kind of sounds um, a little bit naive, right? No, it's not naive because I, even when I was young, I, I know I always was making correct decisions when I was young. When I was 18, my dad bought me an S a SL500. And everybody said, you're going to sell it, you're going to sell it, you're not going to keep it, blah, blah, blah. But look, today we're, we're in 2021. So that's uh, nine years ago. Let's just say ten years ago. It's almost ten years ago. So I had the car for ten years, and I haven't sold it. Ten years I had it, and I like it more and more. And I was making good decisions at 18, and now I'm 27. So the point is I was always making correct decisions in my life. I've obviously made a few mistakes, but it's okay. The mistakes that I made, they, they happened because that was part of the situation. And when you grow up, yeah, you're you're bound to make mistakes, right? But uh, it's okay. Those mistakes that I made, I am, I'm okay with them because I know that's I was young and and I was stupid, so I made those mistakes. But they they made my life better, so it's okay. But the point is, um, I make good decisions in my life back then and now, and in between then then and now, I I made a few mistakes. But um, I know this is the correct decision. I know in my heart. When she talks to me, when she looks at me, I feel good around her. See, here's here's what you have to understand. When when you're around girls, guys, you have to evaluate how do you feel in your heart. Sometimes you can look at a girl and you can understand that, okay, I like her. I, I feel she's the one. Um, but in your heart, what do you feel in your heart? Do you feel, um, do you feel happy, sad, excited, uh, obsessed, 
what, whatever you feel, you have to evaluate it. Because um, even though if you're having a good time, what if you're not feeling good with this girl? What if you're around this girl and you're thinking she's beautiful from the inside, from the out, her adornments are beautiful, but you're not feeling good, but you try to hide it. You try to hide the feeling inside your heart and your brain tells you, you know, your brain tells you, you know, she's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Whatever happens, you can fix it. Okay, sometimes you can fix it. That's that's true. But but if you don't feel good in your heart, maybe you should maybe you should check out another girl. See, for me, I'll tell you, in my head, I, the first thing I, is I try to feel how I feel. I try to understand how I feel inside my heart. Because there's beautiful girls out there and sometimes you can get carried away with their outside, out, outside beauty. I want to feel, how does Ghazil, how do I feel when I'm around Ghazil? I feel, I'll tell you how I feel, I feel pure. My heart is is very uh, clean. My heart is very uh, relaxed. It's very calm. It's very subtle. I, uh, I, I don't feel, uh, I don't feel like there's a burden on my heart.